You expect your children's teacher to be thoroughly cleared with background checks. But an investigation by USA Today and Tegna Media reveals how teachers stripped of their licenses are ending up back in the classrooms. And that includes a Minnesota educator. Here's AJ Legault with an investigation that we call the dishonor roll. They're supposed to be honest, but troubled teachers sometimes cheat background checks by crossing state lines. Example, Texas revoked Stanley Kendall's teaching license after he was caught allegedly trying to meet a 13-year-old boy on NBC's To Catch a Predator. Kendall says he never hurt kids. TEA pulled my license when they really didn't have grounds to, but they did. He should have been flagged in a national database of problem teachers maintained by the nonprofit group NASTEC. But later, records show he got a substitute teaching job in Indiana. There's confusion as to why the system failed, but there are other examples. These records show Minnesota suspended teacher Nick Peterson's license after sexually explicit images were found on his school computer. But he landed a job at this grade school near St. Louis, Missouri, before officials there discovered his past and suspended his license again. It's not a perfect system. The National Database Director believes it usually works in spite of problems. Well, because each state is different. They have different rules and regulations and laws that govern um, these certificates. Critics say there should be a federal law requiring reporting. We want to make sure that the federal government is doing everything they can to make sure that our children are being protected. A USA Today computer analysis of records from all 50 states found that under the current system, it can take months to add the names of disciplined teachers, if they're added at all, allowing them to cross state lines and head back into schools. It's really about protecting kids. It, it seems like we could come up with, with a clear, consistent set um, of, of terms and rules. To make sure, she says the states complete their homework and keep problem teachers out of classrooms. Our partners at USA Today graded each state on how they background check new and incoming teachers. Minnesota and Wisconsin both got a grade of C. You can see the complete story on our website at carolevin.com. I think that's going to surprise a lot of people. Why do you think it is that we only got a C? Well, Julie, for Minnesota, it really comes down to an issue of transparency, and Minnesota doesn't post information about disciplined teachers online like many other states do. And if you're in our neighbor in Wisconsin, they're not very good at sharing information about disciplined teachers with other states, and that's what's behind their C grade. All right. Thank you, AJ.